Hi, thank you for joining us. In this video, we will cover how to easily connect Power BI to any knowledge graph in Timber to enhance dashboards and reporting by leveraging the graph relationships. In this example, we will use our supply chain knowledge graph. To begin, let's head over to Power BI. In Power BI, on the top left menu, we'll click on Get Data. In the pop-up window, we'll scroll down and select the Spark connector. Next, we'll click on Connect. We'll now fill in the server URL or IP followed by the port. Below that, for the protocol, we'll go ahead with HTTP. Below the protocol, there are additional advanced options just in case we want to limit the batch size of the data. However, in this example, we'll leave it empty. Finally, in the data connectivity mode, we have two options. The first is import, which allows us to import all the data from a chosen concept into Power BI. The second option is direct query, which enables us to query our data live. For now, let's continue with the direct query option and click OK. Next, we will be required to enter our credentials. For the username, we will type token at followed by the ontology name, which in this case will be Timber Supply Chain. For the password, we will need to write our user token. So let's see how we can get our personal token from Timber. In Timber, there are two ways to get the token. The first is to enter the home page and copy the token from there. The second option is to enter Timber's SQL editor and generate the token. To generate the token in the SQL editor, we'll choose our knowledge graph, which in our case is the Timber supply chain knowledge graph, once selected, in the query box below, we'll type Show Token and click on Run Query. Timber will immediately fetch our user token. Let's copy it and go back to Power BI to paste it in the password section. Now, we can go ahead and click on Connect. Finally, the Navigator window appears, allowing us to choose the concepts or views we wish to use in our visualizations. We can notice that we have both the default Timber schema which exposes only the properties of a concept as columns, as well as the D-Timber schema, which exposes the properties of the concept but also exposes the concept's relationships to other concepts and their properties. So let's go ahead and choose the concept customer using the D-Timber schema. Once selected, we'll go ahead and click on Load. Great! So we now see the properties of our concept such as customer email, customer ID, and customer name but we can also see the relationships of the concept to other concepts, like has ordered to the order concept and all its properties, or the has shipment relationship to the shipment concept. Any new relationship we will add to the customer concept in the knowledge graph will automatically appear here in the customer concept metadata. So let's create a table visualization combining three different data sets using the relationships of our customer concept. We'll choose customer name and customer segment which are properties of our concept. Next, let's use the relationship to order and get the market of the customer. And finally, we'll use the relationship to shipment to add the delivery status for each order and every customer. And there we have it. Just like that, in no time, we were able to connect Power BI to Timber and leverage the semantic relationships of our knowledge graph in Power BI, facilitating the creation of reports and dashboards without adding any modeling inside Power BI. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in our next videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.